Hey everyone, welcome back uh, to this creature sculpting series. Um, today I'm going to talk about uh, blocking and brushes and kind of the, uh, the planing process that goes on when we do character stuff. Um, so the kind of end goal of this session is just to go through some brushes that I typically use for blocking um, and a character and continuing this character on. So let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing I'm going to do um, for this guy is I always work on the bigger forms before I work on the smaller forms. So I'm going to work on the head, neck, and body um, first. Uh, the big thing I'll probably do is connect. I'm still not sure if I'm going to connect this neck and the body together. Um, but I need to at least work on this connection point right here. So um, let's go ahead. So first thing I'm going to do is use my trim dynamic brush. So B T D. Um, and what this is the brush I typically will try to use this in clay polish. Um, so for trim dynamic, it's just going to kind of plane that surface out for you. So I'm just kind of looking around the neck here and just trying to figure out where the structure kind of is. This is that lower jaw line, like right there. Um, and I'm not real. I'm not trying to like get rid of all of the round surfaces. I'm just trying to explore these out. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit. And I notice like. The neck shouldn't go so far. It shouldn't be straight like this. So I'm going to go ahead and just trim this out here. Find that kind of back area. Always re meshing. Point this in. Dynamesh, smooth that back a little bit. And I usually, when I'm doing this kind of plane process, I'm also smoothing as I go along too, um, as well. Some people will do like these real big kind of planes like this, um, which are totally fine too. Uh, um, creatures really aren't my uh, aren't my specialty, um, but honestly, you should be able to. to do anything in 3D as a modeler, so I've definitely done them before. Uh, it's just not the thing that I enjoy the most. So let's go ahead and just plane this back. And I'm starting to notice I'm starting to, I'm running out of resolution around the mouth, so I'm gonna up my Dynamesh down here and just go a little bit bigger. just checking the polyframe that should be enough for now um, I know this needs to be planed out definitely here um, probably need to move so brush move um, a lot of this is going to be just tweaking finding those those shapes this needs to probably be a bit wider works um, so another brush that I use so I'm going to just try to get this little bottom jowl here so I'm going to switch over to just a standard brush and just kind of work this in here And not trying to be super careful. I'm just indicating that area. And then it looks like we got another little one down here too. Now these may totally just go away at some point, but just trying to get some indication of these these different areas. Um, this detail down here, I probably won't even bother with. And I 
can tell that the neck neck kind of pulls down into this chest, even maybe even a little bit lower. Um, I'm just gonna check my. Yeah, so I'm gonna just move this back. So brush MV again. Move this back and then down. There we go. And there's kind of this little ridge right there. Which I may I may put that in, and then there's also these kind of skin folds, which that's more of a, a bigger detail. Um, but I think I may indicate this. Uh, I'm gonna start using uh, the hotkey for that for the floor. Um, so I'm just gonna put in that little ridge um, standard again. that might be kind of cool just to indicate like some kind of bony structure like a collar or something very dynamesh all right that's looking good for the neck so next up is the head um, so this is it's gonna be a little strange because uh, of the concept art um, but I'm gonna just really try to understand what's going on around here with this there's like this ridge that comes up and I'm just gonna do this from the side view so and I'm just gonna gently block this in just to get some kind of indication of where it's at so I think this is like the hinge it's like a weird kind of hinge joint or something uh, but I'm just gonna block these areas in just to see um, the indication of the eye. Pull this down. And I can see in the concept art, like this little bone sticks out over the neck, um, which we can kind of see right here. I'm gonna gouge the eye uh, just to, oops. So to, to go into a negative space, it's just holding down Alt and just click. just gonna eyeball this sorry for the bad not bad joke and then just kind of go in and, yep and then smooth this back out just a bit so now I can see after doing that um, it looks like my model may not be totally symmetrical. So I'm just going to just double check that by doing a modified topology in a mirror and weld. Yeah, it wasn't for some reason. Looks like it might actually be off center on the floor. Let's see. Looks like it's off a little bit. I'm not going to worry about it for now. I can just always keep mirroring. Um, I typically don't worry about this symmetry stuff until later on. All right, so we've got the eye in there, and I noticed um, there needs to be a bit more of an angle. So I'm going to turn these other ones off again. Turn the floor on. So I'm going to grab my move. And I think this is lining up fine. I think just this, it's the top of this, the head. Um, so again, move brush. I'm just gonna start to angle this front part in. And I'm really making sure I don't go up and down, uh, but I'm gonna move yeah, like that. And then I'm gonna move this out so that we get this jaw that kind of comes out and then move this in and then I'm going to flatten this a little bit too because this side view is kind of mixing with the, the front view I'm just going to move this up so we get a little bit more area and I 
think that'll work. There we go. Terrific. Um, so let's go ahead and move this jaw area down. gonna work just fine and I'm gonna add a little bit more resolution on this and maybe a little bit more there we go and then what I'm gonna do now is just just to create a little yeah this is way too much so if I'm looking at this here, kind of drops. This is a pretty big area. So I just switch back to my standard brush. Uh, brush ST. And I'm just going to knock this back. creating a little bit more of a finer uh, pinch right here. Let's go ahead and move this. Flatten that. And flatten this out. Looks like there's a little bit like of a an inner eyelid here. Yeah, there we go. So we got this ridge and then this ridge should kind of follow down here up into just check this yep up into right about here just gonna fill that in and then I'm gonna switch back to my trim dynamic and just flatten this out. Now, one thing to remember with, especially with creature sculpting, is a lot of times it's all about flat to round transitions um, and getting those, those kind of like tucked in areas correct. Um, so the other brush I use a lot is the damn standard and this just creates really nice creases. So I'm just going to crease this under like so and then I'm going to get rid of that area with my standard brush. Kind of tuck this in. And again since this is a made up creature some of this stuff isn't going to be totally right but it looks like this is coming down and there's a kind of a gap here so we'll just soften this area out like so and then we've got this lower area so then this is a bit raised up here and then there's another one right here and I'm going to keep this nose kind of 
a little bit between this and the other concept art. There we go. He is coming along. So I got this neck head. Um, so next up, let's go ahead and I'm gonna merge this this haunch and this guy together. So again, grab your sub tool that I'm just gonna merge it down. Hit OK. Redynamesh and then smooth. And probably add in a little bit more clay back here or brush strokes into his butt. And he's got a tail too, but I'm just not going to concern myself with it right now. That is looking fine. So right now his haunches are kind of just shoved in um, and we definitely don't want that. So I'm just going to kind of blend this area with the standard brush. Um, this is something that a lot of students you'll see miss is blending these kind of muscles in. Um, and you'll, you'll notice it because it'll just look like a, a sphere kind of stuck to another sphere, which we don't want. And I'm just kind of making some of this structure up as I go. Um, you could add a little bit more of a crease here. So brush, damn standard. Just kind of crease a little bit of that area. Not much. There we go. Um, let's see. Yeah, I think that's actually looking pretty good. All right, and then last but not least, because uh, I don't want to bore you too much, I'm just going to work on these legs. So they definitely taper way more at the top, so I'm just going to smooth that out. And then use my move brush. Pick them up. So, definitely going to need more resolution here. So, again, Dynamesh. Just up those to like 80. Maybe even more, 160. Go crazy. All right, that works. So another thing I'm going to do here is just I'm I've noticed there's like the arm and there's this little kind of collar thing. I don't know what that is, and then 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 the uh, the lower foot. So I'm just going to indicate that area um, with my another brush that I haven't shown you guys yet, and that's the clay tubes. Um, and clay tubes does a really good job of kind of blocking in structure. So for this, I'm just going to kind of indicate this little raised area. Like so. And then I can use a negative clay tubes to kind of build in that little pinch like so um, if you'd go a little bit too wide you can always use the pinch brush which is the other brush that I use a lot so brush PI um, and then what this will do is just kind of pinch those areas together And again, I'm not being like super careful with this. Just just indications of where things should go. Oh, 
All right, and then I noticed at the bottom it kind of bulges out around here. I'm just going to kind of just go in here, create a bit of a spherical bulge that tapers off. And I'm going to dynamesh this back down a little bit. It's getting a bit lumpy. And then smooth this all out. And still, it's a bit, still a bit too high res. There we go. That should help. Again, if you ever have that problem where things are lumpy and it doesn't feel right, like it's not smoothing, uh, it's always a good idea to redynamesh at a lower resolution. shape's looking good so the other the last brush I'll show you is the inflate um, which is a really nice brush especially cr for creating like bulges so I'm just gonna gently inflate this uh, turn on solo so I can see what I'm doing like so Smooth that out. I find this is a really having this reference up here. It just makes such a difference, um, as opposed to having it on a second screen. All right, I'm gonna smooth this out a little bit. And those bad boys are done, ready to go. And those might need to bulge out a little bit more, but that's fine for now. You'll notice I got rid of all of that definition, but it's still there. Just It's just smooth and shaped. All right. Um, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. Um, what I'll do is I'm going to go ahead and finish checking everything, make sure this works. Um, and then in the next video, I'm going to go into the toes and the back feet um, and go into the next level of detail and add in the ears. So I will see you guys in the next video.